Good evening, everybody. Here we are at the Bros. Bimaram Khayil. We had to beat an old lady with a stick to get this table. We're waiting. They relaunched like months ago and it is still impossible to get a table over here. We did not hurt an old lady to get this table. So we, just, we finally put in our order. I'm excited. Get, you're not going to believe who the first person I saw and I was stepping out of the cab to come here. Muhammad the dietitian. Is it him or is it the wellness coach? Muhammad the dietitian. This is why I don't leave my house. Literally, the first person I saw and out there under the cab, our eyes locked. Mm. Same thing happened when I saw Tufiruk. Tufiruk Mahkina, like, we didn't say anything to each other. And he would, Muhammad the dietitian was like leaving this place with his girlfriend, like, who I think was his girlfriend or his date. I don't want to get him in trouble if he's already dating someone. Uh, our eyes locked. He definitely saw me and I saw him because we said nothing to each other. But he just walked right past me and I kept kind of looking. I'm like, in case he wants to say something, hey, I'm looking, you know. That's my she. And I said nothing. He just went home. So this is why I don't fucking leave my house, okay? Hi, no, I'm like, uh, one, by the way. I know Elijah. Yeah, I'm Jay about Shway. We got a cranberry chicken. Uh, me and Elijah are gonna be splitting an Oklahoma double smash and a barbecue chicken. And we got some teriyaki strips. Chicken teriyaki, babe. And I've never tried the brews. Well, I'm gonna give you a very honest review. Full disclosure, we gotta say this. We, we are paying for our food here. We are not invited. The bros have been a sponsor of our show in the past. They've sponsored us for like a month. So there, ha there has been an exchange of money from their hand to mine. They paid me in cash too, baby. So uh, there has been some, no, we're not paid to do this. They don't even know I'm here, Mahdi Tadan. And both interns were like, why did you tell them we're coming to reserve a table? I was like, I don't want any special treatment. You know what I mean? I don't want, I don't want to reserve. I, don't want, I want to earn this table. And yeah, like no said, we fucking beat the shit out of an old lady to get this table. But since ours now, Haram, there's a group of ladies that like came and sat down. It's like the lovely gentleman over here was like, nah, man. These dudes were waiting here before y'all, so gave us the table. It felt like I felt very good when that happened, to be honest. Right? Kind yeah. Of nice hell yeah, hell yeah, dude. Sure thing, but man. As you guys can tell, we have been downgraded. They have moved us to a smaller, less, uh, less fancy table. Okay, they didn't want us sitting over there. I'm just like, there's, there's a bigger group of people. Everybody needs to sit, folks. Everybody has. Again, this put people. Madam Fobada, be the bros. People need a place to sit, so we are happy to accommodate and move to a smaller table. Even though I do feel. Slightly offended and disrespected, I'm <laughs> uh, We're not just any patron, we're not just any customer. Oh, speaking of patrons, funny story. I'm not going to manage it because once the food is here, I'm not going to want to talk. Let me take a second to thank. We have an amazing new patron, by the way, folks. Uh, patrons, we can't keep the show alive without patrons. Brand new patron, folks. Elias Yazbek, brand new abductee patron, Elias. Welcome to the show. Thank you for, for supporting us. And I'd like to take a second to thank some blonde patrons like Mikey Wan, Sarah M, Mo K, Joe Badur, El Jeje. <laughs> Superhero patrons like Dr. William Mott for the boobs, Dr. Mustafa Wahibi, Jabdullah, and our Gatir patrons, Jessica and their Fatwiki Burgery, MB. Funny story about patrons. Remember that person who commented on uh, our YouTube a couple of weeks ago saying that uh, the customer is always right? And uh, Mbasso. I know Nadim sucks. I know Nadim sucks and the customer is always right, folks. And then I said that you were not a customer. No one's a customer. You know, unless you're a patron, then maybe you're a customer. I got to give that person credit, folks. Mbasso is now a superhero patron. Yeah, and he put his money where his mouth is and he's now supporting the channel. <laughs> he's now a customer. He's now no, the no, biggest customer. To say, and Nadim sucks. Yeah, now he's a VIP customer. Now, I, technically, I can fire Nadim. Yeah. <laughs> For, uh, Mbasso, thank you. It's just funny that like, he felt. It's the first time I feel like I ever get to someone. Has them and back you. Maybe you should bully no more cares. people to pay. I should bully more people into paying. You know, maybe Nadim Saloum is, is going to become a patron next. Who knows? But what I wanted to say is just the one thing in common we all notice about Hamad the dietitian. I'm sorry to go back to the top. <laughs> Guys. Uh, he's kind of short. I love to Yeah, he's kind of short. I called him a leprechaun Hamad Sinna before, and seeing him in person, it did not disappoint. He's even smaller than I imagined. He's, yeah. he's kind of cute. He's kind of adorable. Like a little. <laughs> he's like a little stuffed animal. You know what I mean? Like you put him in the background of one of our videos. I've never tried any of their beef. This is the double smash, Oklahoma double smash. 
Yeah. Mm. Mm. Double smashed as well. It's very good. It's smashed in with the onions. So oh shit. Onions are super fucking crispy. This is good. And the sauce is really nice. The fries bomb as always. Mm. Consistent, babe. Consistent. <laughs> the cranberry is amazing. This is exactly what I wanted. Ooh. I love the crispy ends on it. See like the crispy meat and stuff with the crispy onions. It's fucking amazing. Mm. The barbecue chicken very good. I like I'm obsessed with the smashed one, but this is very average to me. It's too much sauce for my taste. I don't disagree and I like it but it is a bit maybe a bit too much sauce. And the teriyaki chicken strips are very good. Let's see. The teriyaki they flavor. They're crispy, but the teriyaki flavor is super like intense, it's super nice and salty, and I really like it to be honest with you. I'm sure I've been uh, MTV's Hamlet. It's ballsy of them. It's ballsy. It's a good stuff. What do you think? It's good. I hope to see more of this. Should I have been parody tonight? And I was fucking hilarious when the parody super funny. <laughs> You see like the parents protecting their child. Yeah, mama, yeah, mama. It's like man. And I laughed at the other time. And it's super funny. Uh, I mean, I'm in It's like it's the same guy. It's like there's a guy with a gun. Before you see a couple of days. the ones holding hands. Because the parents. Yeah, but I'm like the It always goes back to the Shamatzawi. <laughs> It always goes back to the kids. Yeah, you kill the It's like, bro. It's like I would rather my. Don't, literally, don't give a fuck. I would rather my son see, uh, you know, two guys holding hands than a guy carrying a fucking gun. Bro. He comment. Hattaita, hada I have comment. And since when is Naim Khayyel the holy land? Yeah. Hey man. Talla, talla. Shuf, shuf al sharmata. Shuf al sharmata. Where mata dumbo? Hey, both interns aren't here. I uh, just wanted to mention this meal costs fifty-four dollars, baby. It's fucking ungrateful little shits. Not even a thank you. Well, hey, what's up, buddy? Guys, Nadim has come. A late edition. A, Hi, guys. It's a too late. To... He's eating my leftover. Ambasso, sorry to disappoint. <laughs> oh, I sorry. We have to be nice to Ambasso. Khala salam it's fine. You know, Ambasso is now a fifty-dollar month yeah, patron. God bless him. God bless him. Allah, he's allowed to insult everyone. Who and the black tea page? I shot one. I can't take a bad dick. Notice the only time they all come is with a few free food. Down so we'd have a no one fucking comes out. It's like it's like pulling teeth. It's like we need on free ankle. Yeah, yeah, I'm not a great idea. Nadim, no, I'm not going to come. Nadim was like, I can't come, I can't make it. And then Ophi Akil, yalla, shabba. Anna, I was, uh, I was trying I to said, convince bro, you. You were both, you were like, Fina, who was like, Anna, in. No one even complained. But uh, I tried to convince you. I, th I told you, Anna, are you sure? Anna. Did you just know about how my anxiety works? Listen. Did you like it? <laughs> I, I had it deep down. Cranberry. Tear tie down, the bros. Anna, it's my go to. Anna, I said. Camel cheeseburger, tabang kir tai. Wow. I guess ever since I moved to, to 09, baby. Super rare. I'm almost never here. Any regrets? I don't want to see anyone. I regret that I fucking shift. I would bro I just I'm sad that the first person I saw stepping out of that cab was Muhammad Dayta. Who watched Barbie here? I don't know about I really liked it. Spoiler free. And I liked it, it was funny. When, so when they're in Barbie land, it was super nice. When they get to the real world, the film gets a little loosey-goosey. Yeah, and Amish, Mafikti rules. You can tell like they're kind of writing the script and figuring it out as they're going along. And Mafik, there are no rules that make sense. So you just go with it because it's funny. And that's what I would say. It's not, it's not, it's far from perfect, but it was very funny. When I, when I watch movies alone, other than the bit, I never laugh out loud. I go like, huh, that was funny. <laughs> like little snickers. When I was genuinely laughing out loud sometimes. Alan, I fucking love Alan. I tried to find an original Alan Barbie uh, on, uh, on eBay. I almost bought one for $200 just to have and resell it later because I didn't. I lost the, I didn't have time to bid. 
It looked cool. I loved Alan, bro. It was funny. It was, it was very funny. Yeah, it was very, honestly, I went in ready to be disappointed. Yeah, and the kids overhyped. The plot might not make sense. But the plot was pretty, like, unexpected. It's good. It was a really funny film. It we'll, was we'll set. Barbie. The set, the design, the kill sheets. Ryan Gosling was Ryan so Gosling fucking funny. Ryan Gosling was a phenomenal actor. Andrew. Ryan Gosling is so fucking funny. Uh, his whole plot is really funny. He discovers, like, patriarchy. It's a Sanja, it's very funny. Ooh, the production design is super nice. And the set design, Barbie Land, Sanja looks fucking amazing. How much would you rate it at then? Uh, seven, a good solid seven, seven and a half. Out of ten. Nine. Nine. It's a really good film. It could even be an eight, but some just because it's like fun, light, the structure of the. It's my bad. If it's hard to kind of explain the looseness of the like second it was, half. It was nice thing she had it fresh, and I felt like Anjada had something new. Then Hollywood had become copy paste. They had So this was really something new to the table. Oh, not one dull moment. I was interested in the first half. It was really nice. I mean, I saw ni uh, teenage. Uh, I saw Ninja yeah, Turtles. Ninja Turtles, Mutant Mayhem, I streamed that. Super, super nice Kamena. The art style was super fucking nice. I'm back there on Netflix, One Piece. I've never seen the anime. Oh, the live action? The live action. I wanted to, uh, no, I saw a lot of people saying that it's actually a very good live action. But it's super fun. It's weird. The costume design looks a bit cheap as Kirby Sally, I found, like One Piece. And it's kind of making me consider watching the anime or trying it out. It's gonna feel like a thousand episodes or some shit, which, mind you, did, sorry. But the live action is kind of fun. I'm at like the fifth or sixth episode. <laughs> Super enjoying it. Anjad, it feels like an anime but in live action. It's weird. Guys, Gina, as a bros, Akalna, we conquered. It was fun. We came, we saw, we conquered. Did not get beat up by Jnud Rab for the outfit choice. Yalla, God bless. And thank you for our boys at the bros. It was very nice. Support us on Patreon. We will probably be back next week with an episode. And I, I need a break, guys. Shakazi Balekhun. Daddy needs a break. But so no, we're still here with the patrons. Matka Fuento will always take care of you. Everyone else, I can't promise that. If, uh, support us on Patreon if you want to support the show. If you want to be able to buy these motherfuckers dinner and pay their salaries, you know? Hello. Mm, yeah. God bless, baby.